Queenstown's famous gondola is to get a $60 million rebuild, which will almost treble its capacity. The gondola currently carries three quarters of a million visitors each year. The new project will create more than 200 new hospitality jobs, as well as construction work. Our Queenstown reporter Peter Newport was at the announcement. Well, thanks, Sharon. Yes, this is a huge development for Queenstown, a lot of money. Uh, I'm with Mark Quickfall, who's chairman of the Skyline Enterprises Group. Mark, I mean, you must be very excited at this development, but, uh, I mean, Queenstown is still sort of groaning at the seams. Can, can we take the extra numbers? Um, well, that's why we're doing the development. We're uh, projecting out uh, 30 years from now, and we've seen that growth come through. So um, this has been on our, our plans for some time, but that increase, recent increase has accelerated the project. I mean, it's good for business. Uh, obviously, tourism is booming, good for the national economy. But, I mean, housing is an issue. There's going to be an extra two or 300 people involved, staff, construction workers. Where will they live? Well, no, that's good. that issue has always been with Queenstown, and uh, that's something that uh, is an issue for the town, for the council, but also with major employers like ourselves, and that is also on our uh, agenda at the moment to look at staff housing, and uh, something that's, is, there's no easy solution. I mean, the housing problem's the same issue in most major cities and developing uh, areas. It is something we do have to address, and... Uh, and uh, along in parallel with this project, we're looking at it for our own staff because if we want to attract good staff, we have to accommodate them or, or the town has to accommodate them. And, uh, you know, we've looked at uh, solutions that other cities have, have um, developed in other resorts and uh, we're working towards that. I guess something that people in Auckland or Wellington may not understand is the, the importance of Queenstown to the national economy. Your business here presumably drives the economies of, of Auckland and Wellington. Well, it certainly helps. I mean, uh, Queenstown is very important. Tourism to New Zealand is important. And we, we're, you know, this development is just not for the shareholders of Skyline. We, we feel a responsibility to our community, but also to the New Zealand tourism industry and New Zealand uh, as such. It's, it's an iconic uh, destination for people who visit here. Over 50% of arrivals from Queenstown visit Skyline. So uh, we certainly want to continue to have a world-class uh, operation. And we don't want people to be standing in a queue at the bottom of Gondola waiting to get on for an hour or or whatever in the future. I guess the debate in Queenstown every day is should we close the gates or should we find a way to welcome more and more people? Which, which camp are you in? Well, it depends on what, what calendar year you talk to me. If it was uh, three or four years ago, we were begging for people to come here after the global financial recession. Look, tourism is like most uh, industries, it's cyclical and we, you know the market does drive it. Uh, all we can do uh, is focus on the things we can change, but I don't think shutting the gates is the answer. So, Sharon, there you have it. Uh, this debate won't go away, but a uh, huge development for Queenstown and a big trickle down to the economies of the big cities as well. Our Queenstown reporter Peter Newport with Skyline Enterprises Chairman Mark Quickfall.